So before we before we get to the sprint cars, we'll do my my race win collection. Uh, this is the first race cup race I ever got to see in person, which was the Pocono 400. Logano battled Martin and won that race, and so I found a custom on Facebook of it and wanted to get it, so I bought it. Uh, 2013 Trevor Bain Iowa win. I was in victory lane for that one, and uh, 2015 Kansas win for Logano. Uh, sat in turn one when he punted Kinsett. <laughs> Uh, 2016, Kevin Harvick, win elite. Uh, the autograph on that one looks fine, so maybe he was in a better mood that day. Uh, 2017, Ryan Priest, Iowa win. And the 2017, Martin Truex Jr., Chicago win, dual autographed elite. Uh, over here we've got the Noah Gragson, Kansas custom autographed. Uh, Kevin Harvick's 2018 Kansas win with the autograph on the roof. And then uh, Brett Moffitt's Iowa win autographed. I might replace that one, we'll see. Um, Brett Moffitt's 27, or 2018 Chicago win autographed, uh, Kyle Larson's Chicago win with my ticket behind it autographed from, uh, from that race, and then Kyle Busch's 2018 uh, Chicago win, um, that I will hopefully get autographed at Chicago this year. Uh, up here we've got Joey Logano's first Xfinity win, just kind of chilling. Probably should have moved to the bottom of the shelf, but it's a nice car, so it'll sit here. But that one's just chilling up here with, uh, the Sprint cars. We got Brad Sweet, Casey Kane, and Darren Pittman up here. Um, yeah, these are always really cool. So these are all the KKR cars from last year um, or 2017. This one is Casey Kane's number 83 Beef Packers car. I got that one a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is a 164th from my my younger days. Um, I actually rammed this, not rammed it, but I skidded, slid it, I don't know, whatever along a wall, like not a concrete wall, but like a wood wall or something, and I scraped the right side, and I always thought it looked really neat. So this was like my first attempt at a true custom, and uh, I thought it looked pretty good, so I kept it. Uh, up here, that's the uh, Truex Sherry Strong ARC. That'll probably be on face not Facebook, uh, eBay soon. Um, William Byron's first win, Alex Bowman's first win, Jeremy Clement's first win, uh, Cole Custer's first win, Tyler Reddick's Daytona win, and Christopher Bell's Kansas win. I got that one signed in Kansas last year, I think. Yes. And then um, that's pretty much it. I do also have a few shirts hanging up, but, I mean, they're just shirts. I'm not going to show you them. Sorry. You don't get to see my shirts. My shirts are just shirts. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all it is for, um, for my collection there. Um, it's a really proud thing for me but it is definitely one that i i'm not you know it's it's a breathing collection you know some of these will probably be gone in the next month and then it'll be replaced by something else it's just uh kind of how my collection works it's they're not all there to stay a lot of the cane ones are probably not going very far um those will probably stick around a lot of the you know the truex wins and the daytona and champion cars but you know a lot of these other guys will just they're in or out they kind of just float around so um, but anyway, thank you all for getting to 500. I really appreciate it. Um, it's really neat that uh, I was able to get that far. Um, I just find that really cool. So um, that's my wall of collection, or my one of my collection walls there. And um, again, thanks. Maybe we'll do it again at 1,000. And I don't know if it'll shrink or not, because or grow or not, because again, I don't keep every single one just because I. I would uh, I would be drowning in uh, in cars. I already have an entire room dedicated to all the boxes for these, so you can about imagine what that looks like. But um, anyway, thank you all again. I really appreciate it. Uh, trying to get another good view here for you of the collection here. The windows got the sun coming through it, so it's really bright. But um, anyway, thank you all. Really appreciate it. Glad we could get here, and hope you enjoy the next few diecast reviews. Thanks.